Happy Tuesday, my ASVAB party people. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Coach Anderson, and welcome in to Ace the ASVAB. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a little preview of tonight's class. Yesterday, we had a class on distance rate time. Tonight, we have part two with all test level questions, making sure that you know how to handle all the different types of DRT problems. And on top of that, making sure that you know how to work with decimals and weird numbers inside of those problems. One thing I know about the thousands of students that I've taught is that, hey, you might be able to understand the topic like proportions or percents, but then the moment that you throw a weird number like fractions or decimals or a big number, people tend to freak out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to handle it with the same grace that you've been. And if you're not in my program, join the program to join tonight's class, get all the recordings and get step-by-step -step guidance from me. Let's get started, my party people. First things first, we gotta read the question. And I'm not saying read the entire thing from start to finish, no. Start with the question sentence. You wanna know what it is that you're looking for so that way you stress less about trying to figure out what those details mean. When you know what the goal is, you know exactly what those details are gonna mean as they connect the dots. So let's get to it. First things first, right over here. What was the average speed of the convoy on the return trip? Pay very close attention to the wording there. It's always important here. What was the average speed of the convoy, but more specifically on the return trip? Right there, highlight that, circle that, whatever it is that you gotta do. Because when we take a look at the information, you're gonna notice that there are two scenarios being described and the accuracy in which we write these notes is really gonna spell success for us. So let's avoid those common mistakes here. We want average speed, and we see that it's gonna be in miles per hour, and we want the average speed specifically for the return trip. So allow me to write this over here. I'm gonna write return trip. And then I'm gonna write that I want the average speed, which is the same thing as saying the rate for the return trip. All right, so let's go ahead and read through the information so we can understand what it is that's going on here. First thing at the top, a military convoy travels from base Alpha to base Bravo at a constant speed of 45 miles per hour. Then the journey to base Bravo takes exactly three hours. On top of that, the return trip to base Alpha, ooh, there it is. Now we're talking about the return trip. So don't get confused. Don't think that this is the rate that we're gonna write in here and this is the time that we're gonna write in. No, no, no. We see that there's another scenario. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna write that other information over here, I'm gonna say from um, the two trip to base Bravo. All right, so going to base Bravo. And then this over here represents the trip back to base Alpha. So let's go ahead here and write this. Constant speed, 45 miles per hour, and the trip took exactly three hours. So we're gonna write it over here, the rate to base Bravo, 45 miles per hour. The time it took was three hours. Oh yeah, let's keep reading here. Now we see the details again about the return trip. So the return trip to base alpha, due to heavier traffic and road construction, the convoy takes four hours to complete the same distance. Ooh, what did they say here? A lot of people are gonna focus on these numbers and say four hours, but here's a really big piece of information. The same distance that is huge my part of people that's huge why because here's the thing you are trying to let me write the time here equals four hours we are trying to find the rate for the return trip so if you're thinking about this and you notice that this is distance rate time well if we're trying to find the rate we need the time and the distance they gave us um the time but we don't have the distance. So this is where a lot of folks are gonna start freaking out and getting anxious and start plugging in numbers and throwing things together. But if we pay attention to the key words and phrases, you'll understand right here from this green highlight where it says the same distance, what we know about that is that if we calculate the distance here for the trip to base Bravo, that means it's gonna be the same distance for the trip back to base Alpha. One more time because they said it's the same distance, 
that means the distance to base Bravo is the same distance as the return back to alpha. So I'm gonna calculate the distance right over here for base Bravo, and then I'm gonna turn it right back around. So here we go, the distance right over here, I'm gonna grab purple. So the distance equals rate times time or 45 times three. So the distance to base Bravo is 135. If you need to go ahead and calculate that, feel free to do that by hand. But we have 135 miles for the distance to base Bravo, which means it's the same distance as the return trip right over here. And now we just have to calculate the speed or the rate using these values. We're done using these. We just needed that to get the distance. So now let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and set this up again. Distance 135 equals my rate, which is what I'm looking for, multiplied by time, which is four hours. Now that we have that, all we need to do is divide both sides by four and we're done. So let's check this out right here. Divide by four, divide by four. And so that'll cancel out on the right side. Let's figure out what this is gonna be right here. One, three, five. Four goes into 13 three times. And that's gonna be 12. Then drop the five. So we have four going into 15, another three times. Leaving a three left over. And let's keep going here. Let's see what that decimal is gonna be. But when you check this out, you can see that the only answer that starts with 33 is gonna be answer choice B. So we know that that's the answer, but let's go ahead and keep going in case anybody here needs a little bit more help when it comes to working with those decimals. So four goes into 30, that'll be seven times, because that's 28. Then we have two left over, another zero, drop it down, four goes into 25 times, and that's how we know it'll be 33.75 miles per hour. And there it is, my math party people. As always, look, I'm here to help you succeed. So tonight, we have a class that's part of our full program. So if you liked what you saw here, if you believe that more of this type of instruction can work for you, where you can work at your own pace, you can get all the recordings and all the live classes, and you get progress reports updated for you every week, I'm your guy. I'm Coach Anderson. I love helping other people succeed. Let's ace the ASVAB, everybody. Go ahead and find the full program in the link in my bio or description of this video, and then shoot me a text right over there, letting me know that you are interested in it. As always, everybody, I love y'all, and I'll see you in tonight's class. Let's ace the ASVAB. All right, so you made it to the end, but are you feeling like, yeah, coach, this video made sense, but when I try it on my own, it's not as easy. If that sounds like you, then what you need is a tailored approach to your situation, and that's what my full program does. I've been doing this for well over five years, I've been teaching for over a decade, and I've been here to help you and everybody else who wants to take their career seriously to get them to ace the ASVAB. I'm Coach Anderson, sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB.